Guys, how are we? Jimmy here. Really hope you are well. Now, firstly, apologies for the slight delay in the recording of this video. I was on a webinar last night with Mark Hoverson. He intended to go through 17 of his best tips to make sure that 2014 was the best year ever. But because he went into so much detail and covered so many different things, uh, the hour was up and I think we only covered like eight or nine, something like that. So there's definitely going to be a part two. So I'm really looking forward to that second hour. So when he can finish off the rest of of the 17. Now, I got my uh, my Solomon journal and I made, was it four or five pages worth of notes? Uh, but enough, anyway. And what I thought I'd do is shoot a really quick video in just to talk about the three main takeaway points that I got from this that I really want you to try and adopt to take in to firstly give you a little hint and a, and a taster of the webinar so you'll watch it yourself. But also if you don't want to do that, just take it into your own life and your own lifestyle for the remainder of 2014 all 50 is it 51 weeks of them um the first one is to think about the type of person that you are 100 percent finished with dealing with who do you no longer want to interact with want to deal with want to ha you know be just be connected with and have a think really deeply about that because the type of person that they are rubs off onto you and if you don't want to be that type of person, you need to start hanging around with the people that you want to associate with and the people that you want to either be like or be with or just kind of be all that in, encompassed in that circle with. But, you know, these people might be maybe a little bit slimy involved with companies that might not, you know, fit in with your personal caliber or, or whatever. But have a think about, seriously think about the people that you want to associate with. And once you start kind of mixing with, with certainly winners and the people you want to mix with, you know, good things start to happen. Now, the second one is to look at almost like the moral fiber of, of you. And more importantly, if somebody makes a purchase from you, who has won that transaction? Have you won because you made a commission? Or have they won because they've bought a product and a service that will enhance their life in some way, shape or form? Either, you know, give them a a better health lifestyle, a better diet, it's an advertising product or a, a knowledge product or whatever, have they won or have you won? And you really need to think about that because if at any one point you think that, oh yeah, this, you know, I've made a sale, I've made 400 pound commission, woohoo. Yeah, but how do you feel for that person? Does that person get 400 pound or more benefit for making that transaction and you really 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 need to think about that and it's almost having like your moral compass as to which point and which way that's going to direct into because if you're selling a product that you don't fully believe in and are fully committed to and fully understand and really inside kind of if you kind of cut you open and you, and you see this product that you're selling you i would suggest you need to think about whether that product should be in your portfolio or not and lastly Something that I've certainly incorporated over the last 12 months, must be two years at least, is the concept of getting comfortable with paying people to do minimum wage activities. Just think about that for a second. What I mean is, do you have a cleaner? Do you have someone that will do the, the laundry or the washing up? Or, or just general, will they wash the car? Will they valet the car? Will they, you know, the things that you could do and are able to do, but take away from your productivity, from your kind of enhancement of your, your learning, your knowledge and all that sort of stuff. Can you pay somebody a minimum wage activity to do that on your behalf? And it doesn't just have to be chores around the house. It could be kind of blog updates. It could be some SEO. It could be little uh, tasks and challenges that you have to spend time doing. But once you start to embrace that you can enhance someone else's life, because there are always people out there that want to do these things. It's not as if you're making someone do something they don't want to do. But once you get someone to do, once you kind of farm that work out, you know, I have a cleaner once, twice a month and they come in, the place is amazing. The place smells nice and clean and the girls that do it, they're fantastic at it, really nice girls. And, and they're happy doing what, what it is that they want to do. And I've given them some money and obviously the transaction has been really beneficial because it means I don't have to clean the bathroom, clean the toilets and all that sort of stuff because I'm getting someone to do that. Now that's not snobbish, that's not 
kind of where I look at me, that's being practical about how I spend my time because I want to make sure that I spend my time closing the deal on Facebook or making a new Facebook connection or creating a video. When you start to get comfortable with paying people to do things for you, it really frees up your time and it allows you to do so much more and be so much more creative and so much more productive. Guys, three things, really short and snappy, just gone over the five minutes, do apologize. But there will be a link to this uh, webinar replay below, or rather part one of the webinar replay below. I would suggest you block some time out. It is well worth 60 minutes of your time because the amount of knowledge that you can take from this webinar and apply to any business, whatever, you know, the three tips I've given today, and I've not even mentioned a company name, but you can use that knowledge in your own business or your own lifestyle and make a better 2014. As usual, hit subscribe on the top because it really helps my channel grow. Please always hit like as well because I love to hear your feedback. But whatever you do, hope you're well and I will certainly see you guys in the next chapter. Thanks, Anand. Bye for now.